Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to TechSmart for another episode of How Bad Is It? In this one, I have two iPhone 11 Pro Maxes right in front of me, and your job is to guess right now in the comments which one is real and which one is fake. Let's roll it. All right guys, so welcome back to another episode of How Bad Is It? If you are new to this series, check the link down in the description to go to the playlist or right up there in the iCard, whichever's easiest for you. In this one, we have iPhone 11 Pro Maxes. They just came out. They're getting right around that 60 day mark. So you know we got a special video coming up at our good old friend, the ATM vending machine. So right now we are going to do what we always do and make you guys vote. Let me know in the comments if you got it right. Vote up there in the iCard which you think is real and which you think is fake. We're talking just about the iPhone 11 Pro Maxes, not TechSmart's personality or social life, just the phones. All right, vote up there. Let me know in the comments if you guessed square or triangle because we're not doing numbers anymore. And of course, if you guys want to check out the fake iPhone 11 Pro Max in this video, link down below, it goes for $135. Found one on eBay and one on Amazon, so I'll link that one down below just in case it sells out. Let's dive on into these things. So if you guessed the midnight green and what is the, we tried our best to make it midnight green, this is the real iPhone 11 Pro Max with the square and the one with the triangle or the Illuminati is the fake one. So as we always do it, we're gonna open up the fake one first, just seeing what we get. So your memory's fresh with what they're trying to pull on you. And the big thing with this series is the phone's new, the holidays are coming up, and just like every how bad is it, I'm here to let you guys know what is different, what looks funky. So if you pick one of these up used or on Craigslist at any point in time until the iPhone 12 comes out or whatever else they name it, this is gonna help you know what looks a little sus. Okay, phone pops out. So just jumping on in, we all know what an iPhone 11 Pro Max looks like. It's got the three cameras, got your USB wall brick, and then, what is this? Not the AirPods, EarPods. <laughs> Pretty basic, and not even a USB-C to lightning cable. That would be one way they could just change it up and kind of fool you a little bit, a little tomfoolery. Now that we know what's in the fake box before we even turn it on, let's just quickly jump on through the iPhone 11 Pro Max. I'm sure you've already seen an unboxing. This is the midnight green one. Well, yeah, they just, did I scratch it already? Just wiped right off. They didn't do a, uh, a back screen protector. I think this is the first time in a long time. Of course, you get your Apple stickers. That's just one quick thing to note. If you don't find Apple stickers in the info guide booklet, things are looking pretty sus. And then we got the 29 watt USB-C. It's the new one this year. That's a dead giveaway to regular AC or whatever country you're in. And of course, you have your ear pods just in a different case, more of a paper one and not the plastic tin. So that's kind of a dead giveaway. And then of course, to complement your brand new power brick, that's why I mentioned it and Ev said he'd probably be fooled, but we got a USB-C to lightning cable in here. So that's a really easy way just to go ahead and charge maybe like 150 bucks, hoodwink a few more. Now here comes the most important part that you probably need to know if you're legitimately wanting to buy one of these in the description. Here are the specs of the Goo Phone versus what you probably already know about the iPhone 11 Pro Max. So the Goo Phone has Face ID, wireless charging, question mark, we're gonna find out. Read about that a little bit in some other videos and online, you never really know which model you're getting. A dual five megapixel camera, is there even? I don't even know if there's a third camera on the back that functions. We're gonna cover one up and see if that works. 2600 milliamp hour battery, single 13 megapixel camera. Is that on the front? I think that's on the back. One gig of RAM, 16 gigabytes of storage, a 1.3 gigahertz quad core processor. Now you know why I'm reading this from an iPad Pro because I don't even know myself and it could change by the time you buy one. Dual SIM Android 7.0, it looks like a skin version of iOS, like every Goo phone, so it's good they kept that. 6.5 inches and it's one of the worst iPhone clones that some people have ever seen. Now let's come on over to the iPhone 11 Pro Max. And of course you could skip through this and just go to the actual part where we turn these on. A13 Bionic processor, wireless charging, 3969 milliamp hour battery. So the big boy versus the fake little boy. Four gigabytes of RAM, 12 megapixel wide selfie camera with a triple 12 megapixel camera on the back. So that could be the biggest difference you need to look for when you pick one of these fake ones up or a used one on Craigslist. Dolby Vision HDR, True Tone, Single SIM, plus an eSIM, and Face ID. You ready, F? Let's put the iPad Pro away. It's the first time I've ever cheated 
So for the rest of this video, the one on your right, the one on my left, the one on my left in your right, iPhone 11 Pro, fake iPhone 11 Pro. Here we go. So just looking at the hardware on here, both have pretty clicky power buttons. This one, have you hear it? It sounds like it's clicking. The real one, it's just more firm, it's more subtle, it's humble versus flashy and gouty. Tech smart versus every other tech YouTuber. So checking out these cameras, it's got a little bit of a hollow noise versus a solid noise. I'm not here to demise the integrity of a fake iPhone that's running Android, but we're gonna just turn these on and see, see what happens. It would be so cool if they just put USB-C. Is the fake one not even gonna power on? I was holding it down. <laughs> We had to pull over to the supercharger. I just wanted to find out if the fake iPhone 11 Pro has wireless charging. Now, before I put it down, I should probably tell you, if it turns orange, it does read a wireless charging Qi coil somewhere inside. Now, what rate that charges it, I'm not gonna be able to tell you in this video, but just bring a wireless charger with you. If you're looking to buy one of these bad boys, so it's white, you just were orange. Wow, it's defying the spectrum of colors. Are you gonna turn on? Maybe we don't have wireless charging. Now it's orange. Compared to my regular iPhone, does it just stay orange or does it go off? These are the things you must find out. It's not looking good. It's not looking like it's a real wireless Qi coil. Just stay orange, just stay orange. Yeah, we're gonna have to charge this the old fashioned way. Confirmed, no wireless charging, whatever you are. Now that both iPhone 11 Pro Maxes are on and the fake one is actually holding a charge, let's check these guys out and see what's new. Every time a brand new fake iPhone, or really just a new iPhone comes out, fakes obviously come up and it's really interesting to see throughout the year how good they get. So it's 60 days after, here we are. <laughs> Looking at just the settings, it's a little laggy. I mean, you know what the iPhone looks like. It's it's pretty simple on iOS 13, but let's see what trickery you might not know about. Hitting about, iPhone 11 Pro Max, iOS 12.1.1. If your iPhone is running, well, iPhone 11, 11 Pro or 11 Pro Max is running iOS 12, run for the hills. Or you might have got a secret special device that you might have found in a Lucky Charms box. The toys be crazy this year. All right, well, doesn't really look like there's a whole, a whole lot else. Just if you're not running iOS 13 or you can't update, you're probably in trouble. No indication if there's Android 7. So I guess that that's just a given because Android 8 and Android 9, and even Android 10 have yet to come to the Goo phone. <laughs> All right, well, let's try out Safari. I always say that's so weird, Safari. Got both phones fired up. Now keep in mind, the Goo phone takes a little bit to recognize which orientation and just which direction it's being held in. So let's really just watch everyone's favorite YouTube channel. See how this keyboard is. Well, kind of good. Maybe it's me. No, it's definitely not me. I hit an S there. And sure, we'll watch the uh, new video that apparently no one saw. What? On paper There's a OnePlus the 7T ad. Yeah. <sighs> oh, sorry, I got sick there. Whew. Sometimes ads on YouTube, they make me a little queasy. Here we are, let's test out these speakers. Full volume, sort of. Whereas on the iPhone 11 Pro Max, you can see the volume indicator up there let's just, just okay so at least the control center is somewhat normal it's pretty laggy here we go hey what's up guys welcome back to tech hey what's up guys special... can't work an iphone here smart <laughs> hey what's up guys welcome back to tech smart for a very special video hey what's up guys right welcome back to tech smart i tried i tried right in front of me i have an iphone 10s max and now an iphone 11 Screen resolution, I'll say is no greater than a 
1080p panel. You let me know in the comments what resolution you think this is. I couldn't even find it in the specs. It's improved. They, they, they've come over the wall and we're now in 1080p land for really all the fake smartphones. Now, of course, on the iPhone 11 Pro Max. And now, an iPhone 11 Pro. Mm. All right, guys, so this is gonna be a super quick Do video. I always spit when I talk? Is, so let's say you have an iPhone. All right, well, let's see what the camera looks like. We're just gonna keep going through it as we usually do on how bad is it. So we got photo, portrait, pano, video, slow-mo, and time-lapse. Time lapse is one word and it's hyphenated on the real one on my right. And then time lapse has a hyphen with a dot because, well, an ellipsis is the only fitting word because it's just too long of a word. You just needed two extra letters and you would have fooled us. All right, well, let's do some videos. Test out that 13 megapixel camera. All right, yikes. Gotta love that noise. One's the subtle dang, the other's your doorbell's been rung. Okay. I saw a comment the other video of where someone's like, you never seem to get older. Well, actually, I'm not just a baby that was born on a pallet. We're constantly being tinkered with. I'm a science experiment. Confirmed. This has been my confessional. One looks like I'm forever blue and could be in the blue man group. The other looks like I'm just trying too hard. And I said it a little bit earlier, we gotta check out to see if there are three cameras. There's only one way to find this out. I'm gonna put my finger over this one. What? There is only two. Okay, here we are. Ev? Ready? Steady? Is there one finger over one camera? What do? So that means, Ev, if we put our finger on the last camera, But we are going to say there's three. I, I'm just, I'm so intrigued. What quality is this? Even when you hold the phone in landscape, it doesn't, it doesn't even rotate the time. And another thing you have to look out for is the app store. It's one of the easiest things, whether you're at the Starbucks, the Dunkies, it doesn't matter. Just fire open Wi-Fi, connect to a safe one. And then let's see what the app store presents us with. The charts just have every version of the Japanese hit app, Line. I love Line every time I go to Tokyo, Shibuya. You have to just use it because none of your friends want to use iMessage. But oh no, I don't think this phone's from China. I take it all back. For some reason, the Japanese app store is just taken over here. I have never seen in any, how bad is it? You can be the judge if you hit the link in the description and check the playlist. On any one of these real verse fakes with an iPhone, four Japanese line apps ready to be installed. You pick your version, doesn't matter. You could go with the latest or you could go with the worst. All jokes aside, we're gonna try to download it. I'm not installing an account or setting up an account. You have to install an account on a phone like this. It's just a little bit more than your standard commitment. Putting a ring on it. And the way it downloads, look at this. It's like a progress bar on the app. Apple, I think that could be something cool but a little something iOS 90. I think the only thing left to do is see if the Line app downloaded with or without an account. Nope, you still gotta make one. We are not doing that at the safety of whatever email that I just made and really wanna keep protected. I think we just try out Face ID and, and you know exactly what to look for on this how bad is it. Didn't even give me a fight. Didn't even give the iPhone 11 a fight. So even with Face ID, you're not even rotating your face. You're just holding it up. And that's a pretty blurry image from what I'm seeing. I'm gonna rip the screen protector off because at this point there could be a camera in the display, not above it, for the sake of what's left for this phone. So first scan complete. Now I'm supposed to move. No, don't even move your head in a circle. It's gonna complete it for you. I think all you had to do was just pop open the Face ID app at the Starbucks. And no, if you're getting hoodwinked, it's it's gonna be pretty clear. All right, just for the jokes of it, before we get on out of here, let's see how Face ID looks on the Goof Phone 11 Pro Max. We're, now it unlocked. That was not even a test. You're vibrating because you can't find my face. 
she is. Now it's unlocked. This has been the iPhone 11 Pro Max. How bad is it? Pretty damn bad. So I said earlier in the video, this phone did not have wireless charging. I think that's because trying to restart any phone from anywhere in the world probably won't be the best with wireless charger. But you can see it here. You heard it here first. The line app now is showing up as I rotate the iPhone 11 Pro Max. That's from somewhere in this world around. Wireless charging somehow did show up. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for this episode of How Bad Is It? iPhone 11 Pro Max Edition. If you guys liked it, make sure to drop a like if you want another episode. Make sure you guys get subscribed so you don't miss that episode. And I'll catch you guys next time.